Hi nerds! Today I'm gonna talk about how I managed to get an astrophysics research internship at the University of Cambridge. I think it sounds cooler than it is, especially when you find out how easy it can be to get into research. However, in February last year, I wanted to do research during the summer. Uh, and preferably in the UK, because I don't know, it felt like it would be cool. I like the UK. So I tapped into Google, Summer Undergraduate Research Physics UK. And there were so many options. In fact, I applied to several other universities before Cambridge, like Imperial and Oxford. They had a high energy physics program I didn't get into. Then I found research in the CMS projects listed on Cambridge. Which was basically many projects listed that you can you could like pick and choose. So that's what I did, basically. I saw one about astrophysics and I thought it sounded interesting. So I sent an email with my grades and a little background information about me to the supervisor who also was listed there. And then she picked me for an interview and then she picked me to be her summer student. Yeah, and this was actually as easy as it was. I guess apart from me being terribly confused how to like write the email, but whatever. Maybe I was lucky because my background matched the project like perfectly. And I actually matched my supervisor's background too. So we were kind of like a great match. But th this is how easy it can be to get into research, honestly. because. Many people ask me how I got into research from the beginning and I think it was so long ago I barely remember but what I do remember is that I've sent a lot of emails like a lot of emails and I've been rejected a lot too because there are so many kind like researchers out there that just want to do research and they just want to talk about the research and they just want to help but most importantly for us, they might have some have some smaller projects within their research that may be too like small for them to do, but maybe you can do it. And when you find that perfect little space, that can change everything for you, especially if you're an undergrad student like me. So my project was basically that, is about a topic that is relevant to this like that area of, of research but maybe it's like too small or too like not many people have explored it because they don't have time they have more important research to do i don't know but that was a perfect opportunity for me because now i can publish a paper about it and i will of course talk more about my research but i want to publish the paper first and then i will go through the paper with you guys of course so basically what I tell everyone is just to send the email. Like send the email. Cause like the worst scenario is that you m might get a no, right? Cause that's what I did when I got into research in at CERN. I sent an email to get into CERN. Okay, that's a lie. I sent many emails <laughs> to get into CERN. And I wanna clarify that of course there are other stuff important here. like. My grades, I think, were a huge factor. And for this internship, I guess my previous research experience I've done in astrophysics and my coding skills. But these are something you can start with gaming like now. And some internships doesn't require. So why aren't more people sending an email? Well, to be honest, um, like before I continue with this, I want to say that I asked myself if I was like smart enough for that project because even if it's not interesting, I didn't feel like I had a knowledge required for it. And I was actually honest about that in my email I sent to the supervisor and said that many of these subjects are new to me, but I'm very excited to learn more about. And I knew that I really wanted to do research. So it was like I was motivated to apply and like trying to suppress every feeling of maybe not being smart enough and like if they choose me I'm gonna do this like I'm gonna learn it and I'm gonna do my best and I can't do more than that like like me being not smart enough that's a future problem like 
And that was literally like what I did. Because it wasn't like I, I felt like, oh my god, I'm so smart. I'm gonna do research at Cambridge. They'll probably accept me. Like, no, 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 no. It wasn't like that. It was like, okay, I can send this email. It sounds. In fact, I read somewhere that like women are like tend more to apply to stuff they know they will get in, whereas men is like shoot their shot. And I feel like I want to do that too. <laughs> so what happened was. The first week of my project, I got tons of homework. I read a lot about fluid dynamics and um, my supervisor, who's incredible, sent me derivations she wanted me to do. And we had meetings every week to like discuss the literature. Obviously, when you're a young student, you don't have the required knowledge to do <laughs> the majority of research that is like modern research that is done now, but it is possible to dive into like a specific area. And I think that is what I did basically. So even if I didn't have the knowledge before, my supervisor helped me gain it. And I think that is an important part. Another big part of the project was getting funding. And there are so many students doing unpaid research and um, we, we don't like that. So funding is truly something I recommend to start work early on. Cambridge has mostly internal funding, but for external students, you can apply to a program I apply to, which will be linked in my caption. Uh, luckily, I got that, but if I wouldn't, I will probably use Erasmus or something else um, to be able to do the research. Another problem I had was because of Brexit, I had to do a lot of work with like visas and stuff, which was terribly annoying. And I mean, the pandemic didn't help, etc., etc. But overall, it was the best experience I've ever had. And it taught me so much. And I'm so happy I sent that email and just like ignored <laughs> all my imposter syndrome and whatever would could stop me from doing that because it was so worth it. And I truly recommend everyone watching this to send an email. That was all for today. I promise I will post more. I have some exciting news for the next video. So I hope you like this video and subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you soon.